to use a bit of height. Mm -hmm. Okay, just to, because what's going to happen here is there can often be a little bit of irritation, but it also can get like, hard to stick as well. Okay, quite often clubs might even have some foam ready to go, like the really small, thin white stuff. You can place that on the area as well. Okay, but I'll often go just with a strip along this region here, just to protect the structures going through. Okay, now, foot position usually for an ankle, we're up like this. Okay, now I don't want it down here. Okay, because that's just uncomfortable. Okay, I want it in a relatively neutral position. Okay, just in that sort of plane of movement there. I don't want it too far and I don't want it too far. Okay, but again, to put these first couple of bits on, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we're going to go one bit just across the front here, and I'll show why that's important as well for another reason in a little bit. Okay, now Laura, don't take this the wrong way, but I think I can probably use a 50 foot angle. Okay, so I'm sorry if you thought you had skinny ankles. Okay. Oh, Laura. So, is that fairly standard though, 50s? Or yeah? For football players, there you go. Generally, for a football player, I'll generally use a 50. But obviously, we've got our anchor to start with. There's no real tension to this guy here. Okay, you make it look as nice as you want, that sort of stuff there. But with an anchor, we usually go into out. This time, similar to the moccasins, we're going out to end. Okay, but again, we're not going crazy. So I want a relatively neutral position there. Again, lining up with that lateral malleolus for the first one. Again, trying to avoid that back pad when I come under, making sure we don't get to the point where we start to constrict there. And then we're taping round there. Like again, you can do for a deltoid ligament sprain, that sort of stuff there as well. This part's not too crazy. All right, but already, if you try to come up forward, please, Laura, this gives a little bit of restriction. Not crazy, okay? Usually, I'll go with two. Okay, two again. Thinking about our taping, you know, principles from when we all did our sports trainers back in the day. We're thinking about that sort of thirty to fifty percent coverage on the other piece of tape, so it's got something to stick to. And again, we bring that other one around there. Again, I'm thinking that's sort of about a 25 to 30 percent resistance there. Okay, but again, chops and changes depending on where you go. Now. You can do one six, okay, and I do a six on this side, okay, because again, it's going to pull it down and around into that position. If I do one on this side, I'm going to be pulling it up and out into that position, okay. So you can do one six, sometimes you can do two, depending on how you feel. But coming down and around, just like your normal six. All right, we'll go quick, we'll better be quick. So, six into that position there, okay. Now, this is where I get a little bit tricky, okay. I will generally then go for a 30. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I will do what I talked about with the moccasins with a crisscross diagonal on the front of the foot. Okay, so I start with my one down here. Now, what I get them to do is plant a flex a little bit so the tape is going to hold them in that position there. Okay, so when they come up, it gives you that buffer there. Okay, does that make sense? Yep. So, we then go the same on the diagonal, and I use that hyperfix as my guide. Okay, that's my landmark. Okay, and then I do one more on the other side, and I always finish without to in. So that way it pulls it that little bit more around into that position there. Okay, and then if we try now going up into that position there, see how it restricts you there? Okay, you can feel that restriction, but also you've got this sort of spring here. Okay, so it's kind of up and down. Okay, and it gives you that bit of a recoil there. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. So that's where I use that to give it that bit of extra support. Okay. Now, there are other ways you can do it. There's basket weaves, that sort of stuff there. Okay, you can go up higher down there. You also, I often find if I've got it, I'll use elastic tape here instead. Okay, and I'll pull it that little bit tighter so it holds it there. Okay, but quite often you don't have as much elastic at your clubs. You've only got a heap of rigid and not much elastic, but that's where I'll use this. Does that make sense? Yeah. Any questions on any of that, guys? Right. Can we do all do something similar?